Today's dinner is chili. I'm getting the chili started. And it's looking yum, yum, yum. Good enough to eat right now. And this is just a hamburger and onions cooking together with the seasoning salt. The rest of the ingredients are over here. Cumin, cayenne pepper, oregano, paprika, garlic powder, black pepper. Of course, we have diced tomatoes and tomato paste. I bought the diced tomatoes and tomato paste from Audi. Also, kidney beans I bought from Audi. Yeah, that's like 49 cent a piece. I mean, couldn't pass that up. And voila, we're going to have tasty chili when I get to mixing the ingredients together. I'll come back. Okay. It's still looking good and what I did so far was drain like half the fat off of this hamburger meat. For some reason this hamburger meat had a whole lot of fat and I guess maybe be, it wasn't yeah maybe because it was just hamburger and not ground chuck. So in this case I drank off a whole lot of the fat. Shoot, it was a lot of fat in here. I don't know if you could see this. This cup is maybe a one third full of fat. Mm, I like the fat taste, but that's just a little much for me. I want to have some good chili today, you know. The fat gives it some flavor, but. Mm -mm, that's too much going on so anyway I'm going to start adding the spices the cumin I guess the cumin first and I add my spices to my hamburger meat and what I do is just get this big spoon I get a big spoon and just scoop a couple spoons in here and the cayenne pepper not a full spoon and so on you know so yeah you could just make it and enjoy it to taste main thing is just more cumin than the other spices and don't put too much oregano put about a small spoon of um, oregano you can get a whole spoon some some kind of measurements huh <laughs> A whole spoon, a whole spoon of paprika, half a spoon of black pepper, a whole spoon of garlic. You know, well anyway, I'll explain more after I do it and let you see how it looks. Okay, here I go with these spices. Okay, now I'm going to be more precise with the ingredients. Cumin. See this spoon right here? <laughs> like a big tablespoon, but bigger. Like one of them. You know, I used to get hit in the head with a spoon when I was young. I did tell my mom. And she took care of the problem. But anyway, I don't know why that came to mind. Two big spoons of cumin. A half a spoon of cayenne pepper half a spoon of paprika well actually you know what I used a little under half a spoon here a little under half a spoon <laughs> that's me being precise huh about a itty bitty almost half of a half of a spoon of black pepper and what did I do with this garlic powder Oh, a whole spoon of garlic powder. Can't go wrong with that. And you know what? I'm going to put this special ingredient. I'm going to add a little pinch of this Italian seasoning. So I'll mix all of these ingredients up. 
and let them simmer for about five minutes. Then I'll add my RD ingredients, which is diced tomatoes and tomato paste. After that, kidney beans. Well, I add a, a couple cups of water, you know, to stretch it, and then kidney beans. And we'll be having chili. Just mixing these ingredients up. Let it simmer for a good while. Spices get all Feel free. good and yummy. Feel free to add more cumin as needed because this is the key ingredient for good chili. So now it's simmering. Five, ten minutes if you want, you know. Let it simmer and just, I mean, this is a, uh, the base for the chili. You know, I used to make it different, but this way it's just so much flavorful just to let the all the ingredients marry together. This chili without smashed garlic. I just get any any kind of bottle handy and just smash. I mean, how easy is that? I love garlic. I love cooking with garlic. So if you don't want to put a whole bulb, you don't have to. I actually wait and add this after I add the tomato paste and and tomatoes. But yeah. I didn't want to forget. This is like the the star of the show here. Star of the show, garlic. And over here, oh, I hear it sizzling. It's sizzling. That's what I love. That's what I like. I like to hear it sizzle. It lets me know that all of the spices are blending and blended very well. So let's see. I love the sizzle. Diced tomatoes are in. I'm going to add a couple cans of water. I'm going to just fill this up and put it in. Next, tomato paste. Just added the smashed garlic. Stirring. So if you're still watching, I have some fresh cilantro that I put in, about a half a bunch. I'm just stirring it in. So I guess I need to put that on the list before starting a video. Fresh cilantro. Half a bunch. I'm going to top this baby off. Once it thicken more, I'm going to top it off with sour cream. Mmm, talking about good. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to By eat. By the way, I forgot to mention the cumin. I added like three more spoons full. It wasn't spicy enough for me. I like spice. If I could add some spice, I'd do it in a minute. I had a jalapeno pepper hanging around. <laughs> In the refrigerator, I put that in. Oh, I just like spice. But if you don't like as much spice, just taste it. And if you need more cumin, add it. But this is the real deal homemade chili. Have a little sample bowl here. All I need now is a scoop. Sour cream on top. 
Wow, this is a Audi. This is a commercial for Audis because I did get this from Audis, the sour cream. I got this from Audis and it was 99 cents. So, wow. Go Audi. Now it's all about digging in. Mm. You got to try this one. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, my goodness. Okay. That's it. Enjoy.